Following on from our mental health awareness launch on the 10th of October, this is the first of one of many exciting projects that we're delivering with children and young people in Bolton. People shouldn't be like prejudiced towards uh, mental health and that the, the things people think about it, like such as, oh you're crazy, you're an attention seeker, it's wrong. You're so pathetic, why would you do this work that I've asked you to do? Why would you do it? You're just being lazy. We want to get the message out because we think the reason it's not working is because there is no personal side to it. Like people just give statistics and statistics you don't have an emotional attachment to. But with adverts like the Children in Need campaign, you can see the children dying, you can see children in war zones and you have more of an emotional attachment so that's why we wanted to do it. Many of the young people um, that we work with at CAMS have got an interest in performing arts and drama. So as it's half term week this week, we've decided to put on some drama sessions for young people. So working with a group of young people, we came up uh, with the idea of the elephant in the room. So the elephant in the room being mental health, the thing that people don't want to talk about, the thing that gets kind of shoved under the carpet, the thing that they fear to speak to parents about. We all gave our opinion on like stigma and prejudices and the differences and why people shouldn't be treated that way and we were able to like incorporate it into our performance. But what if different doesn't work with me? I just want to fit in. It's important because if you don't understand much about mental health you won't understand what that person is going through. The ones who think they get it but are just patronising. Oh Rachel, we always have them days I woke up the other day like that. I mean, we can take you to the school nurse if you're not feeling all right. When I came this morning, I felt really nervous because the thought of being around other people really scared me. I'm walking out and I think, am I being annoying? Am I doing this wrong? What's that eye roll meant for me? Uh, so if someone breaks their leg, you can obviously see they've got an illness or like they've hurt themselves and they're in pain. But people with mental illnesses, it's kind of more invisible. I do get quite nervous, but I'm hoping to get more confident about it. You're an attention seeker. It's easier to make friends around here as well because we're all going through a similar thing. This is not the solution. This is not who I am. If you just listen. You'll believe. I like music. I like to draw. I love to dance. I love to perform. I love to show you. I want to work with technology. I want to be a pediatric nurse. I want to live in Japan. I want to be a lawyer. I want to be famous. I want to live in Japan. I want to be famous. I want to be famous. I want to be famous. I love music. I, I want to, to be famous. I love to dance. I love to draw.
And I am amazing. amazing. I thought that was absolutely fantastic what they've just done. It really is, really is a credit to you all. It's helped us to manage to get the message that we want to be sent through to other people. It's really scary at first, but it gets really fun and it actually gives you a lot of confidence. This week for me, it's been a big thing because I've never really done anything like this before. So um, it's definitely helped with my confidence and I feel better with myself. This theatre pro production will be shared on our social media sites, Be Kind To My Mind, with the hope that we will then engage more young people in the project.